What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. In today's video, we are actually rejoining the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise, and for good reason. Um, in today's video, I feel like this is something that has been missing from my channel for a little bit, but I'm going to join back to this Pittsburgh Steelers franchise, or not join back, I, I never left, it's a single player franchise, but I'm going to go ahead and hop back into this with a little bit of a different mindset than I did before. You know, before I kind of got to a point where I was just a little tired with this game as a whole, you know, a lot of the, the negatives surrounding this game got to me. I took a, a, a period there in December where I was able to air some of my grievances about the game in various YouTube videos, so Go check those out, see if you agree or disagree with any of those comments that I made. Uh, but let's go ahead and join back with a little bit of a different attitude, a little bit of a different mental state here within the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise and see what we can do. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I feel like I was really holding myself to this idea of this quarterback battle between Dwayne Haskins and Kenny Pickett. And Kenny Pickett came into a game, took over a game, threw for two touchdowns. Honestly, I just want to use Kenny Pickett. You know what I mean? I want to have fun in this franchise, and having fun in this franchise is going to mean committing to Kenny Pickett for me and utilizing Kenny Pickett. Now, Ben Roethlisberger stayed over for us, and I like that idea. I only like keeping two quarterbacks on the roster or whenever I play a franchise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find a home for Dwayne Haskins. I've already done a little bit of research. I'm going to look around the entire league to see who the best fit is, but the Falcons still have yet to find a successor, a proper successor to Matt Ryan. I feel like sending Dwayne Haskins over there with star development as like a 75 overall is actually going to be the right direction. Now, there are a couple of other teams. I'll let you guys know if that's the, the direction that we inevitably go and what we get back back for him, but I'm going to start with that move today, and then I'm going to jump into a couple more things. Now, I actually found two other teams here that I feel like could desperately utilize Dwayne Haskins at this point where we stand in the franchise. The Saints have yet to find a future quarterback, and then the Broncos as well have yet to find a future quarterback. Currently, the Broncos are running with Robert Griffin III, somehow coming out of his uh, commentary career and coming out of retirement. He is heading up that team. The Falcons, obviously, we mentioned 72 overall Matt Ryan. And then we also have over there with the Saints, like I said, 66 overall Nick Mullins. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a look at their records to see which team is in a position to maybe draft a quarterback and things of that nature and then decide to make the move from there. And there we have it. We actually ended up sending him over to the Denver Broncos. I ended up bringing back a second round pick just because of the value that he actually carries at this point within franchise mode, how much he can actually present value wise to that team. I didn't want to go to a first round pick because I thought that that would be a little bit too crazy. So I went with a second round pick. Dwayne Haskins, 74 overall star dev quarterback goes to the Broncos. They were the only team with the cap space to be able to handle a quarterback like that. So we went ahead and dealt him away and then what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to manage this team through about the midway point of the season. I'm going to live sim so you guys can see everything that happens as we advance in terms of our schedule and then we're going to pick up the franchise from there. So because my team is already pretty OP in, in a lot of areas, what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to advance to mid-season. We're just going to do this live. We're going to advance to mid-season. We're going to skip a lot of the dev breakout scenarios and things of that nature. It's going to put us in a tough spot statistically in terms of probably performances with young guys like Kenny Pickett and things like that. And hopefully it's going to put us in a position here where we have to try to recover and some things like that. So yeah, you guys can see right there, we are not at the top of the division. So the Bengals sit at 6 and 1. We sit at 4 and 3 below the Browns even who are 4 and 2 and the Ravens are 3 and 4. So this actually puts us in a really interesting position to move forward in this franchise and I feel like this presents a little bit of excitement. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play this game in the next video. I wanted to get some of this stuff out of the way here today. But what I'm going to do here is I want to go ahead and uh, take a look at the statistics and see where we stand at this point. See 
where we stand jumping back into this franchise and I'm going to commit to tomorrow literally the day after this video is up is the day that I'm going to to release that video of the gameplay as well we're going to commit to getting back on a regular schedule with this franchise no more of this stuff where I, I kind of put it off as, as secondary or anything like that we're going to go ahead and really jump back into it first let's go ahead and take a look at who we actually need to negotiate contracts with because there are some big ones so we do have Minka Fitzpatrick our 93 overall x-factor free safety gonna demand a lot of money we also have our kicker Chris Boswell who's up to an 86 Deontay Johnson Stefan Tuitt Devin Bush, Cam Sutton, James Pierre, Will Hernandez, and a lot of these other young guys, Zach Gentry, who I like a lot. Um, some of these younger guys, rookie guys, uh, Lakia Henry, Kerry Vincent Jr., Ben Roethlisberger, obviously, and some other guys that fill in from there. So we have some interesting things that we have to do with this team. I actually don't know what's happening with Stefan Tuitt in real life. There's a really odd situation going on there. So what I might honestly do is at the probably at the end of this season, I might retire both Cam Hayward and Stefan Tuitt if they don't retire on their own, and that could present us with an incredibly interesting challenge. Heck, I might retire hire Stefan to it this week just to present ourselves with an interesting challenge. I'm thinking about probably trading away Cam Sutton because we do have a younger corner in Josh Job that we can, you know, slot into into where he's at. And James Pierre maybe a little bit, maybe trade him away. I don't know. Some of these guys that are on contracts not necessarily thinking about keeping them around long term. Deontay Johnson has obviously improved tremendously as a Pittsburgh Steeler, so I think I have to keep him around. Um, but I don't know how the entire receiving core is gonna gonna fare because we also brought in that uh that that tall wide receiver that i like in uh nagata i i somebody told me how to pronounce his name um and I, I guess i was pronouncing it wrong i think it's nagata is how i was told to pronounce it i was pronouncing it like haloti nata before so it's joseph nagata i guess uh six foot three 220 out of clemson i would like to get him into the starting three which means we have to make a decision of how to move on from one of these players and I really feel like that's a good decision point for you guys down in the chat, and I think that uh, you know you guys can let me know, those of you that are committed to this franchise, who would you rather see go? Chase Claypool? Uh, would you rather me see Deontay Johnson walk? Maybe trade away Juju Smith-Schuster? Obviously, I'd take a big cap penalty because I did sign him back to a contract. You guys have been with us the entire time, so you tell me, uh, who would you like to see in this receiving rotation? Um, you know, Would you like to see any of those other guys traded away? So, those are the decisions that we're looking at here as we hop back into this Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. Now, for the moment of truth, how is this team doing statistically on the season? So, what just... <laughs> wait a second. What just happened? Ben Roethlisberger took over as a starting quarterback. Apparently, I didn't do the depth chart enough to set Kenny Pickett as the starter. So Kenny Pickett is going to have to come in midway point through the season to redeem this team. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, though, getting playing time in, in what would be his, his, what, 18th season or something of that nature? Um, I should probably just straight up retire him. Um, but regardless, I'm going to keep him around as a backup. Like I said, I'm going to start Kenny Pickett, but this presents a super interesting dynamic for us. Obviously, we're behind a half a season now with Kenny Pickett in his development and stuff like that. So I'm actually not too upset about that. Rushing wise, Najee already close to a thousand yards. That's actually kind of crazy. He's just absolutely going off. Receiving wise, Deontay Johnson at the top, Juju, Fryermuth, Olszewski getting receiving time, Chase Claypool kind of down there. So maybe Chase Claypool has to go. Um, receiving wise, has anybody let up a lot of sacks? Will Hernandez has, so we might have to try to uh, shift around the offensive line a little bit now that we've seen some things. And then on the defensive side of the ball, TJ Watt getting the most sacks for us. Stefan Tuitt, Cam Hayward, anybody with interesting interception numbers, Dante Jackson filling in nicely, um, and James Pierre with an interception. So some interesting things going on here. I don't, I, I, obviously I messed up the depth chart somehow. I don't really know how this happened, but Ben Roethlisberger uh, standing in for a period of time. We'll, we'll go ahead and go with Kenny Pickett suffered an injury after uh, he suffered a training camp injury to his throwing hand after uh, having, uh, you know, traded away Dwayne Haskins. So I'm, you know, honestly, I'm excited. I know I said that the last time whenever I joined back in, but I'm going to have a little bit more free reign over what I want to do here. I'm not going to 
have any any predispositions in terms of anything outside of I just want to play with Kenny Pickett and have some fun with Kenny Pickett. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the very next episode of this Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. I hope you guys will tune in and I you know I thank you guys that are watching this video for having stuck around with this Steelers franchise despite my lack of consistent uploads with it and my lack of you know consistency in general with this franchise. So you know I do plan to get this back on a routine schedule. We're going to release a video tomorrow like I said at least once a week at the at the least once a week is the the desired goal um so you know be on the lookout for that i'll see you guys in the next episode please leave a like on the video if you're excited for this um or if you uh, like this type of video subscribe to the channel if you're new and comment down below i'll see you guys in the next one and i hope you have a good one